Well, another big name uh, is a guy by the name of Quan Cosby at March. So uh, he did not win Offensive Player of the Year twice, easily could have, but he did win Offensive Player of the Year one year and Defensive Player of the Year the next year. Um, that was amazing. How he, that was how good Quan Cosby was at Mart. Uh, Dave, you got a chance to see him and play. I mean, what? Where does Quan rank among you know some of the better players you've been able to cover? Cover, uh, probably he'd be number one uh, mm. as far as covering. Uh, I always said that he was, uh, you know, I, I played with Raymond Rhodes at Mahaya when we were in high school, and Raymond Rhodes was Quan Cosby thirty years before Quan Cosby came in, uh, stepped on a football field. He was. They were both so good on both sides of the ball. You could you could build a cage around either one of those guys, <laughs> and and make it a really small cage, and they got out of it somehow. Yeah, I don't yeah. know how they did it. Not to mention, uh, they would probably, the rules being what they are in football today, they would probably stop the game and change the rules because those guys hit so hard on defense. I mean, my gosh. Uh, and and uh, Quan would come up from the safety position, and you could see it coming. I mean, you knew it was about to happen. And guys, the, their knees would just, would just buckle when he hit them. My gosh, he was a great player. Just a great player. I'll tell you one, one other thing I want to say about Quan. He was so far ahead of his time as far as the people, how he dealt with people, because after the game, everybody wanted to talk to him. Mm -hmm. And it was like he was a celebrity and he handled that better than anybody at the high school level that I've probably ever known ever. Yeah. He was great. Yeah. You know, we, you remember we had that, uh, that's 50 year super syntax banquet uh, right. and we named an all time super syntax team, which was a lot of fun putting that together. And Quan was on that team, on that list, and um, and he was still young at the time. But I just remember him being real respectful of all the guys that were there, and just you know honored to be there. And I was thinking, dude, you belong. You know, I mean, yeah. Well, sure. I, I don't, I don't want to just limit it to Quan. When when you asked me who the best, some of the best players I ever saw, and, and Raymond was spectacular. And I know that, that was well before y'all's time, but he was a. He was an amazing player, and he obviously played in the in the pros and coached in the pros. But, mm -hmm. uh, but uh, it would be absolutely insane not to have a team that had Lewis fight on it. He was on that team as well. Uh, he was one of the best running backs I've ever seen. And Ladanian Tomlinson, who was a completely different type runner, I, I got a great Ladanian story about them playing uh, at Old uh, Tyson Stadium. And, and they were playing, he comes in the hole, they're playing uh, Smithson Valley, I believe. And Smithson Valley had an all-state linebacker, and he lines up and he hits Ladanian right in the thighs. I mean, he comes up and just, boom, you know, just blasts him. And Ladanian ran 80 yards for a touchdown. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. uh, we we have had some incredible players to cover, and Quan is right at the top of that group of people. Yeah, you know, and another one, I've always said he's one of the best that I've ever seen uh, that 2002 season, Jordan Parkus at Rosebud Lot. Never did anything in college because he didn't end up, uh, he was, you know, they were late recruiting him, everyone was. Ended up going to A&M as a student, but man, um Great, great player, great high school player at Rosebud Lot, and uh, led them to their only state championship. He was really on the cutting edge of that spread offense that everybody yeah, was just yeah. beginning to institute at the time, and and uh, they were really good, really good. 